waking up for it. <laughs> it was pretty early this morning, you know, so I'm not used to being up that early after the short little break that we got. So just waking up for it was the first difficult part. <laughs> Do you prefer that getting up early as opposed to being out in that sun late in the afternoon? Yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely um, much better to get it done early in the morning when we don't have the blazing heat on top of, on top of the run, running test. So we're a little happy about that. The impact of the new strength and conditioning coach, Coach Hossopel. I mean, how much? I mean, everybody talks about you know everybody's numbers being improved as far as you know build. I mean. Obviously, you're all looking better. Do you feel better? I mean, have you noticed a difference getting out there yet? Definitely. I think uh, you can look at a lot of guys and see where they were uh, the year before and where they are now. And just appearance has changed. Like you said, uh, numbers have increased dramatically. Um, it's definitely been an improvement for a lot of guys and it's something that a lot of guys need. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you, does that give you, I mean, I can imagine, you know, you get into shape, you're going to feel better. I mean, does that give you more... Uh, I don't know, not inspiration, but you know, it just kind of pump you up a little bit, knowing you, you know, you put in the work probably more than anybody else has. Well, your strength and conditioning coaches—they're pretty much the backbone of your team. You know, they don't really get the credit that they deserve, but without them, we, you know, you become a stronger and better football player through the strength and conditioning co coaches and what the work that they put in all, all winter, spring, especially in the summer. That's when we have really put together uh, the team. That's when leaders step up. So that's really like the backbone, the support of our team. And, uh, you know, with our new strength and conditioning staff, I think they did a great job, and a lot of guys were able to step up, and a lot of guys, like you said, have increased as athletes, and the better athletes we become, the better our team can be. You've played a lot of different roles uh, since you've been here. Can you kind of describe how you see your role developing in Coach Campos' system? It's kind of it's kind of difficult to say. I think uh, again, I'll, I'll be asked a lot. They'll ask uh, me to handle a lot of responsibilities, which I'm perfectly okay with. Um, I think, you know, for the main part, they'll, they'll have me going after the quarterback and rushing the quarterback. But there'll be, there will be times they ask me going to coverage and uh, things, different things in that area, too. Do you, do you feel like it's going to be pretty similar to what you did last year? Are there any big di differences you've seen so far? I think it'll be pretty similar to what I did last year. What about pass? I mean, I guess maybe a better way to ask that is, you know, how do you feel you can judge your success this year? I mean, is it going to be sacks? Is it going to be, you know, things that ne maybe ne don't necessarily show up on the stat sheet? Or? I think it's a combination of both. I think uh, I can watch film and see where where I have improved and where I haven't improved, things that don't show up on the stat sheet. But uh, if, I can, if I can increase my production on the stat sheet as well, I think uh, it'll show improvement in what I've been doing. What, I mean, what, what's your favorite? I mean, I assume you like to get up to the quarterback. I mean, is that <laughs> yeah, safe to say? That's the main goal, definitely, yeah. yeah. So with the, all the new guys on defense, and even some guys that aren't even here yet, even from the spring, how long do you think it'll take to kind of figure out, you know, your, not identity, but figure out kind of gel as a defense and, and figure out who's going to be playing and the roles and, and, and all the things that go into that? You know, I actually don't think it'll take long. I think, you know, that's the difference between offense and defense that on offense, they kind of got to gel together and get their timing right. Defense, it's every guy giving them all out effort every play. So you can plug in a guy and kind of just expect him to fit in with, the, with everybody else. Um, I think it will take a little while just to get used to the terminology a bit and just get used to what we're doing, but I think we'll be all right.